Right, so last year, last August, as it happens, funnily enough, I did a video about the rough gas storage facility. That being the name of said storage, not a comment on the condition of it, though that does sort of fit as well. Rough was the largest gas storage facility in the UK. On its own, it literally doubles UK gas storage capacity. It's capable of holding 100 billion cubic feet of natural gas. So it's preposterously, unimaginatively enormous. Now, as we all know all too well, we've been paying through the nose for gas over the last year or so. It's the energy company scalped us during the cost of living crisis. And part of that was because this facility was shut down in 2017 due to it no longer apparently being profitable. Never mind the fact we needed it. It was no longer making money. It was being too expensive to maintain. And the government at the time, Tory government, refused to subsidise repairs for it. Always the same with privatised energy companies, though, isn't it? Rough being owned by Centrica, the parent company of British Gas, they who recently, just last last week, posted a 1,000% increase in their half-yearly profits due to scalping us all, of course. A cool £2.1 billion made. But back in 2017, while still making obscene profits, as these companies do, supply production and distribution of energy, all making separate profits, like they do. I'll cover that in other videos. I'm not going to go into it again now. Uh, Centrica still wanted us, via the public purse, to pay for their repairs to this rough storage facility. Well, the Tory government wouldn't pay up, and so Centrica closed it down. Now, due to the spiking gas prices that have happened since, Ruff was partially reopened last year to store some one-third of its total capacity in natural gas, because it still wasn't up to full capacity. Those repairs still need to be done. Now, Labour, smelling an opportunity to put the boot into the Tories over this via Rachel Reeves, have all of a sudden noticed this issue a year after I pointed it out. But, you know, by the by, at least they've twigged at last as something they can put the boot into the Tories over. And as much as you obviously can do that, it misses the bigger point. The privatisation of our energy infrastructure is actually mostly at fault here. Centrica wanted public money to do their own repairs with. By refusing them, yes, the Tories can be accused of allowing this storage facility to be lost for several years having our gas storage and contributing in no small part to our bigger energy bills. We had to buy gas at higher prices more often because we couldn't store as much. However, why should a private company demand public cash when it suits them? Here's the rub. Here's a massive example, a big argument pointing to the need to renationalise. Centrica thought they had the government over a barrel. The Tories said, tough, we'll freeze then, in effect. When they could have said, right, if we're going to have to pay to fix this, then we'll legislate to have it all off of you. Of course, they'll never do that. Pro-privatisation, fossil fuel lobby donors are plenty as they have. So the Tories failed on two fronts, both a failure to take control of the energy sector when they needed to, and failure to protect us from the ensuing costs that followed. Perfectly legitimate things that Labour could attack them over. Except it isn't that that Labour are attacking them over, because under Starmer, they wouldn't have done anything different themselves, except it seems, given their argument, they'd have given Centrica the money they wanted when they wanted it. I wonder how that would have fitted into Rachel Reeves' fiscal rules. Ah, but they are, of course, made up nonsense, ready to be binned off whenever it becomes convenient to her and them. Labour, via the aforementioned Reeves, are now complaining that the closure and then reopening of the rough storage facility has now cost the UK £1.7 billion over the last two years. I don't know how she's worked that out. Perhaps she could have looked a little bit harder because rough was closed from 2017 until 2022. So that's five years, Rachel Reeves, by my count. So it would be more than that, I would imagine. Calling it a costly mistake, true, but ultimately it's a cost we should never have had to bear anyway. Centrica should pay for their own bloody repairs. Why is privatisation all about socialising the profits and capitalising the costs? Why do we always have to pay for the upkeep and then pay the high bills as well and never see any of the benefit as the likes of Centrica post their eye-watering spiteful profits without a windfall tax in sight now since Sunak has chosen to end the one he negotiated early? He negotiated a windfall tax with the energy companies like Centrica through British Gas until 2028. But, you know, greed is good for them. Meanwhile, we apparently have to be kept poor. That's the latest narrative coming out of Tory HQ. Well, it's another thing Labour could also attack the Tories over here. But no, it's why didn't you spend the public money on this private company earlier? We don't have enough storage in this country anyway. As is the case with all privatised essential services, the companies themselves always expect the public purse to pick up the tab to ensure these services keep going. It's almost like they hold the government to ransom in effect. 
is certainly how it looks when Centrica wanted public money to keep rough online or else and shot the place when they didn't get it. If our government are getting held hostage over these things, where does that leave us? We need all of this back in our control, in our ownership, as it originally was, before the same toys failing on this now allowed it to be stolen from us under the pretense we'd get a better service. We've had anything but. The Tories won't change anything. Labour now clearly wouldn't either, with the arguments they're making of being the wrong arguments. We need this infrastructure back under our control. It's the only way we get a proper service back at costs that won't bankrupt us, along with moving away from fossil fuels like gas entirely. Though again, neither main party will address that elephant in the room either. Now oil and gas licences are being committed to once more. Where's the gas getting stored then? Labour refusing to revoke anything the Tories push through between now and the next election when they'll likely lose power. As much as we need to get away from choosing oil and gas over renewable options, we need to get away from voting Tory and Labour as well, when they're no different from each other and only committed to their own interests, and never ours. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please like, share, subscribe if you did. More content out daily, of course. Meanwhile, here's a recommendation for you where Starmer has been doing his own deals with the oil and gas giants, just to underline the fact they really are no different here. And I'll hopefully catch you on the next vid. Cheers, folks.